face. Okay, so I've been on a couple of bumpy wall rides recently, and I just thought it'd be worth showing how I make a wall ride uh, in case anyone wants to copy it. So both bits of the wall ride are exactly the same height. That way there's no bounciness in the middle of the wall ride as you're trying to drive around it. So I'll template those two bits. And I've done them exactly the same, that was daft. Still. Yeah. Select that way instead. Okay, and then I can just use this floating prop to check that I've got it straight. So you see that's wonky. Still a bit wonky. There you go. You can tell that's pretty much bang on straight. So I'll pop that down. That's annoying. There we go, I'll do. I can use the same prop again. Yep, level. Put that down. Template the pair of them. Now I can just use these. And let's do it in the light. To make a smooth wall ride. Where's it gone? There. stop it doing it. I can see then the overlay at the top and just how I'm dropping it in. Obviously I could have templated this already. But I'm just showing how I drop them in.
continue with the leveler. And keep blinking, uh, keep making templates. Until you've got it the length you want it. Yep, much longer ones like that. And you can tell there is no overlay from how they've been placed on top of each other. Completely smooth, as opposed to the old method. Putting it down and then trying to put another one on top of it, which a lot of people are still doing. And hoping you get your alignment right. That's not bad, but it's sticking out a little bit on the top. And if you accept that, then when you go around the wall ride, you get pushed down and off the wall ride, or it's just bumpy as hell. 